Hi! In this tutorial, we will review setting up inverse kinematic controls for your character. Usually, the inverse kinematic and forward kinematic workflow in other rigging software requires two separate skeletons, one for IK and one for FK, with a lot of controls for animation, meaning you have to keyframe both skeletons and manually blend between them according to the results you seek. It can be complicated to use this rigging process. In Akitsu, however, rigging IKs is very different and much simpler because instead of having two skeletons, you will use your FK skeleton and plug the IK solver with two clicks. And then we can very easily use IK and FK. So to create our IKs, we need to make sure of a few things. Make sure that you are in your rigging screen. Also make sure that you are in build pose. In your character node. Also we recommend that your joints have a little bit of a bend or angle wherever the uh, bend will be. Uh, this is to allow the IK to bend in the correct angle. So you can see my knees are bent and my elbows are bent a little bit. Uh, so now all we have to do is select the father joint and then control select the child joint with the joint in the center that we want to bend and in our IK little menu we click on this button and now we have an IK control. So I will do this for all four limbs and you can see that the one on my feet are too small so I can go into my preferences and change that right here uh, so for this tutorial purpose, I will make them pretty big. Now we have our IK controls on all four limbs. And the IK also displays in our character node in the tree. And so now if we go into skin and check, and we select any of our IKs, then we can begin to start moving everything with our IK selected. And you can see that here in Rotate we have this new button and if you left mouse button click and drag then that rotates or moves your pull vector. Let me smooth out my rigging. And if you right click and drag then your pull vector moves and the child joint moves with that arm. So left mouse, right mouse. Also a new channel for your pull vector displays in the transform menu. So you can see here I have my little pull vector icon and you can see that when I rotate it that changes. So here you can see that the control is white and because our IKs are not turned on, we are still working with FK. So while working with FK, you can move your skeleton in FK mode and you can also move your IK at the same time even though it's not turned on. So if I select my root and I move my whole character then you can see that the arms and the legs move with it and that's because my IKs are currently turned off and so it's pretty cool to be able to work with both FK by selecting your character or selecting your IK control. And now if we want to turn on our IKs, we simply right click on the control and it will turn red and now the IK is actually turned on. So if I move my character, then you can see that the arm stays in place. It is now locked. When my IK control is turned on, I cannot work on my arm in FK anymore. So you can see that 
for the three joints that are part of the IK control while it is turned on, my spinner is grayed out, but I can still move and work on the rest of my body. The only way to work on this arm is by using my IK control. So for this workflow, when you want to have some contact keys with the floor or objects in the scene, uh, or for locking your limbs, you just simply need to turn on the IK targets, uh, make them red with the corresponding keyframes when you are in animation. So for example, here my IKs are turned off. I simply have to go to whatever keyframes I want my IK to turn on in. And you can see that that is turned on. And when you don't want this, then you simply turn the IK control off by right clicking on it again. Um, and in the corresponding keyframes that you want the IK to be turned off on. So we have a special interpolation mode in the curve board for IKs also, which is this button here. Um, we will, and we also have this for the reverse foot because the reverse foot also kind of works as an IK. Uh, so this is well to handle the white and red passages in your animations. And we will go over this in the curve board tutorial in more detail. So now that you have your IKs, if you work with them and create animations, you can delete your IK targets and it won't destroy your animations. Uh, you will just lose your IK interpolation effects, uh, so as your locks, meaning that if I had animations and I deleted my controls, then the animations would be the same, but uh, the legs wouldn't lock onto the floor anymore. Um, but again, your keyframes will remain unchanged. Also, joints belonging to an IK chain or reverse foot cannot be re-edited in your bind pose for rigging. So if you were to change uh, any of your joints, then you would have to remove your IKs if you wanted to edit them. So you simply would delete them and then make your changes and create the IK again. Um, and in case uh, you wanted to add IKs to a character that already had animations, so for example the wolf, then all you would have to do is create your IK. And then once you go back into your animations, if you wanted to use it in any of your animations, then you would turn on your mixer Go to your IKs, turn on the little hammer icon, and then turn it off. And now you can see that I can start working with my IKs in my animations. And that is your IK.